guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video i'm honestly beyond excited to be filming this little things in life make me so happy it is literally the small things and the fact that m s have brought out all their christmas range it's one of those small things. So I popped into store. I also made an online order. So I have lots of bits to share with you across food, fashion, beauty, pets. They have the new branded Barks and Spencer. Have you seen that, pet owners? So cute. And at my favorite section within M&S, the homeware. I mean, homeware across any brand right now is my favorite with us renovating. Honestly, M&S, with their home fragrance in particular, amazing so yeah we have some festive bits in here as well the fact that they brought out all their festive food i maybe went a bit overboard because it is a little early but at least you'll be able to see some of the products they have in store before i get into sharing with you what i did pick up from m s make sure you're set and ready and cozy with a nice festive drink why not because we're getting festive in this video can you hear that builders upstairs this is my life soundtrack right now. It's usually drilling and all sorts. Make sure you're set and ready with your drink and snacks. And one thing that I have been loving with my afternoon coffee break recently is the Readly app. If you've never heard of it before, I'm surprised because where have you been? <laughs> Readly is an app that I've loved for a while now. It is an app that provides you access to magazines, newspapers as well, the puzzlers. We all know I love a good puzzle. Autumn and Christmas baking magazines. I mean, all the interior inspo that I've been getting all from Readly and what's more is really convenient for instance when I took Barney for a groom the other day you have to wait for about an hour so I just sit in my car and read through some new magazines it's honestly so handy the fact that you can have access on your phone which is how I often use it it does give you access to up to five devices though so we have it on Tom's iPad as well so he'll sometimes have a flick through magazines usually car magazines but the convenience element is amazing and what's more it's super affordable at only $7.99 a month with a cancel anytime policy so that you're not locked in and I have an exclusive link which I'll leave in the description box below which you can click through if you do it gives you two full months completely free of charge like I said cancel anytime try it out see for yourself how good it is the value for money that you get from all of these magazines is amazing it's also great by not feeling guilty you know if you buy a paper copy magazine you feel like the amount that you buy them for you've got to read it all whereas with readly you can just flick through choose which pages you want to read pass any that you don't and you're doing your bit for the planet by not buying paper copies as well so make sure to take advantage of that discount that i do have for you guys for two months for free let me know which magazines that you enjoy reading as well or if you've got any suggestions for me anything like i said interiors autumny christmasy themed they're the ones that i'm drawn to most thank you to lily for very kindly sponsoring this part of today's video and without further ado let's jump in to the m s haul this is not just any haul this is an m s haul i think i'm just going to start with showing you some clothing that i actually picked up in store in this sale this one was from the menswear and this was uh 35 pounds full price down to 15 pounds it is a slim fit men's shirt but i did buy it in a 3xl my intention for this is like a summery lightweight linen shirt it's a hundred percent linen for 15 pounds amazing value so they had different uh patterns and styles and all sorts as well reason like i said that i got this in a 3xl to where this is like a beach coverall totally out of season hence why it's probably in the sale but i just think men's linen shirts are actually quite a good staple then i also picked up this in the sale this again was 35 full price this was down to 17 pounds they only had two of these left and they were both in a size 24 which is gonna be oversized but i guess that's the fit we're gonna go for so it's just this like jacket like a denim lightweight jacket i'll just kind of try it on so you can see what it looks like so it is obviously a mu much more sort of like boxy fit on me with it being um a few sizes too big but i do still really like this fit it's got the pocket detail i'm definitely wearing this with the intention of layering up over sweatshirts like this one or hoodies i think a really nice sand hoodie would look good underneath this with some black leggings the length of it with it being a bit more oversized is below my bum so a good little shacket to layer over 
hoodies and sweatshirts. And then lastly in the sale, I picked up this was £25 down to £12. Again, they only had larger sizes available, but that doesn't bother me. Size 18 actually is a nice kind of oversized fit for me. And usually I'm about a 10, 10 to 12 sometimes on the bottoms, but usually a 10. So this hoodie is probably the softest hoodie I have ever owned. I also picked up just some basic high-rise leggings. These are in a size 10 at £19.50. and pence. They're quite a thick one that, quite cosy. Okay, I ordered this online, speaking of cosy. Oh. First cosy dressing gown of 2021. I say first like I'm gonna be buying loads. <laughs> But this is so cozy, it's fluffy on the inside, it's fluffy on the outside, it has a fluffy hood and honestly we're getting to the time now where it's starting to get cooler. This house isn't quite finished, I don't know if you can hear the renovations going on, but it does mean that it can get a little chilly. So this is exactly something that I have been looking to reach for recently, it's even called Daydreams Duvet Days M&S. £28, which I think is really reasonable. I did get it in a large, I always tend to size up in dressing gowns. Oh, it's done up on the inside. Oh my goodness, I don't want to take it off. <gasps> So golden. Oh my god, I actually don't want to take this off. Shall I sit in it for a little bit? Why not? Let me know. I'm not alone. Who else is sat in a dressing gown right now watching this video? This is so cozy. I love it. Oh, what a dream. Film in a hall like that. Guys, I am at work right now. How lucky am I? Thanks to you guys for watching this video. I'm literally working like this. Amazing. So happy right now. Okay, I'll move on to homeware before the food. And this is something that quite a few of you have sent me pictures on Instagram. You've DM'd me, DM'd me, <laughs> DM'd me and sent me photos of these because you guys just know how much I'm gonna love them. So of course I had to pick them up. £12.50, you get a set of three ceramic scentable decorations. So I had some similar to these on my tree last year. You could just pop them around the house, they don't have to be on your tree obviously. And the fact that they are ceramic, it allows you to pop some essential oils on them and they hold the scent, they retain the scent. So this one, you get mandarin, clove and cinnamon scented spray, which you could use as a room spray, as well as spritzing these to keep the scent going. This was one of their Christmas scents along with frankincense and myrrh. So I did also get a couple of their essential oils in the festive scent. This one is mandarin, clove and cinnamon. These are great for putting on potpourri if you've got any lying around. They're good for my oil diffusers that I've got. The wax melt burners as well, you can pop these in. And you can also put them on this car scent diffuser sticks that they now sell as well. I was going to pick myself some of these up from the White Company when I was in the Trafford Centre the other day. They only had the refills, they didn't have the initial like starter thing. It was fake because I found this. Anyway, these little oils are £6 for the pair. And then this is the Balance fragrance it comes with. But like I said, you can use these in the future. You don't have to use the scent that they give you. It contains vetiver geranium, black pepper jasmine, and cinnamon leaf. So I actually think I'm going to really love that scent. It was £9.50. And in here you get the actual stick that goes on the car if you can see it clips onto the vent then these are the refill sticks they give you two to start off with and then it also obviously gives you the little balance fragrance oil as well which again you could use in your oil burners diffusers as well i think that also makes a good little stocking filler gift idea type thing as well for uh, friends and family or secret santa if your budget is 10 pounds in fact it is just under that i think it makes a good little gift i also got two non-festive scented products from the beauty section these are in the scent tranquil that they do and it's just a matching set of hand wash and hand cream these are going to go in tom's bathroom if you've been following the renovation journey we've got a bit of a color theme going on up there with this kind of dark forest green which is actually very similar to the MS branding itself but this tranquil packaging i thought would look perfect in his bathroom they're only five pounds each and you can also buy the refills fragrance with hemp seed oil cypress armoise thyme and tajet no idea what they are. I did also get this 
for Tom and I'm tempted, he doesn't watch my videos, I'm tempted to even put it away as a bit of a stocking filler for him. I think I will because it's always hard to find stocking fillers for guys but this is just so cute. It's a mug if you can't tell. It's one of them gifts that you unwrap at Christmas that you're like, oh, I wonder what this could be. I literally feel like I'm unwrapping a Christmas present right now. He is planning on potentially having a coffee machine up on his basically in the loft, the room that we've converted up there. It's going to have a sofa bed with the potential for guests, but it's primarily going to be Tom's wardrobe, Tom's office, his bathroom, everything's up there. So he's thinking of having a little coffee machine up there. I mean, it's sounding like he's got his own little flat. He's got like an annex in this house. But if he does get a coffee machine, or even if he doesn't, this is just gonna look adorable up there. We have a golden retriever. How could I not purchase this? It's got a little, or I'd say a big Barney on the front and the back. And this colored handle was fate. They've got other dogs, um, dog prints, dog breeds, but all with different colored handles. So the fact that the golden retriever had the green one is honestly perfect. It's made for him up there. So yeah, I think I will save this as a little stocking filler for him. It's six pounds. I love it. I kind of want one myself now. I also picked him up just a spare uh, black cup for his walks that he does. The coffee that he likes to take with him in the morning when he does these fast walks. And he started taking Barney with him as well. At £2.50, these are a couple more Christmas decorations. I got these set of six luxury decorations. They are little stars and Christmas trees. Sorry about that ring light. It's kind of annoying, isn't it? Um, they're beaded though. So they remind me of the white company ones that they have. And I have some similar from previous years that I've been collecting that I thought these would complement quite nicely. They do have this silver ribbon. So if you know my little hack, I'll switch that out for a black velvet ribbon just so that it kind of complements and goes with the rest of the theme. But yeah, £10 for them. I remember they had these last year actually, so I wonder if they'll bring back some different ones this year or if these are just left over stock or whatever, I don't know. But they're little glass bowls in the shape of stars. They had different sizes. I just went for the smallest one at £5. Um, I thought this would be good for, you know when you're having olives, I mean, olives aren't traditional for Christmas, but you know, like a cheese board, if there's olives on there and then you don't know what to do with the stick or the pips, you can have a small little star bowl which you could pop them in, or even just for nuts or crisps. Mind you, you don't get many crisps in there. Yeah, nuts, olives, that kind of a tapasy dish, or you could use it as a little candle holder. I also picked us up another tree decoration, and this is so adorable. I have to say, I'm getting total inspo from Ruby Holly. If you follow her, or if you followed her last Christmas, she puts Polaroids on the tree at Christmas, and I just think it gives it more of a personal touch. So these are priced at five pounds. They are gold little frames, with cute little crystals in and just very simple and minimal to be able to pop your own print in. Again, I might switch out the velvet ribbon to black velvet and then put maybe a black and white kind of selfie picture of me, Tom and Barney for our first Christmas together. I thought it'd be quite a cute idea to maybe start that little tradition of doing Polaroids as well, especially with it being our first Christmas with Barney. Okay, the dressing gowns had to come off. The last of the Christmas decorations that I picked up was this set of six Christmas trees. Again, I'm going to switch out the ribbon for black velvet. Ten pounds for the set of six. I like my little ceramic houses that I get. That kind of ceramic white theme. I feel like those Christmas trees fit well. I did pick up this mug for myself. Oops, it is ten pounds. Called the Snuggle Up Mug with stencil. So it's in this stone kind of color it's got the little snuggle up stencil which you can pop on top this is like the perfect size for a nice cozy hot chocolate with loads of squirty cream i feel like the key to a good hot chocolate is a wide rim because then you can get loads of cream on again a good little gift idea for christmas you could maybe put some cozy socks with it as well and a nice affordable budget as well so the last of the homeware bits that i ordered online anyway in fact yeah, no, this is the last of the homeware bits, is this from Joseph Joseph, which do all sorts of cutlery kitchen bits and bobs. And this is something we've been in need of, a new kitchen scale 
scales pair of scales our kitchen scales are falling apart they the battery thing keeps on in fact there's no battery back so it's like sellotaped in it's it's bad it needs replacing and i just thought this looks so smart and chic sophisticated like that is the pair of scales how cool is that these were 35 pounds not cheap but i feel like great investment because once you have a good pair of scales do you really need to buy any more i know i do have a couple more bits i also picked these up in store this retreat apothecary oil so this one i had to pick up they had a load of products within this range rediffuses candles all sorts I ended up just opting for the oil because I think it's what I will use most. The scent of this is what drew me in. It's cypress, siberian fir, eucalyptus and scots pine. So if you're a fan of the pine and the fir at Christmas, these oils are £3. And then I also found this in store for £4. Again, I thought this would just be very handy for our little coffee bags. It is a scoop that also comes with the clip part. So you can clip the bag shut and then as and when you need to get a scoop of coffee, you've got the little scoop there too. So yeah, the fact that it's in gold goes with the theme of our kitchen utensils and only £4. A couple of stationary bits for my little stockpile of gift wrap and gift cards. This card, how could I say no, being a golden retriever owner, I saw this card and obviously had to pick it up. £1.50 says sending you birthday wishes. I feel like this is definitely going to be a card from Barney to someone one day. And then I also picked up this ribbon, which I thought would look good at Christmas, but all year round. It's three metres at £2. And it kind of reminds me of, again, the... Oops. Reminds me of the sort of ribbon that you would get at the White Company. It is all white, very simple, with the black font, and it says just for you. And that is literally the only thing that's on this ribbon. So nice and simple. Got a couple of pet products from Barks and Spencer. This one was in the sale from £9.50 down to £5. And they had it in grey as well. And it is a pet blanket. It's the cosiest thing ever. I'm thinking of popping this in the back of the car, you know, when we're driving and things, so that Barney's got a little place to kind of cuddle up and then it's getting darker tis the season for autumnal walks potentially at night time or early in the morning where it's going to be a bit dark so i picked this up for him it's a pet light up collar it's water resistant as well which is amazing because barney likes to get in them puddles and that's the main thing that we need to look out for when we buy stuff for him so £7.50 this one was, but it is one size, so you actually cut to fit it and then secure with a captive screw. And then the last thing that I got from Barks and Spencer is this set. Again, I'm, I think I might put this away for his little Christmas stocking. I just think it's so cute, the fact that it's a little gift set like this. He has a toy in, which I love the aesthetic of. I am that dog mum that likes aesthetically pleasing dog toys. Don't get me wrong, he has plenty of others too, but I do appreciate a good looking dog toy. So that one is like a rubber brown dog pull toy which are his favorite then a dog bowl which is collapsible and it's got a little carabiner clip on that you can take on longer walks and a little poo bag as well in that same kind of brown color and then last but not least we have a couple more bags with some bits from the food haul which the first one this is the apple and cinnamon crunch it's light and crunchy oat clusters with cinnamon and yogurt coated cornflakes it's going to be a bit of a treat it's definitely got a red zone oh no orange zone on the sugar content i might as well show you all the festive bits first so they have this red packaging which you literally cannot miss this is a pack of turkey feast combo mix good for just popping in shareables i also got these two goodies which are little mini shortbread trees and mini gingerbreads and these remind me of when you get like a gingerbread latte from costa coffee at christmas time they always put a little gingerbread on top of the whipped cream so i thought that would be quite good or both of these would be quite good for that i got some christmas coffee a festive edition i don't really know how seasonal hints of chocolate and citrus so it's probably not that Christmassy at all. I also got this. This is kind of pricey. This is £4, which I thought for hot chocolate, it's kind of pricey. But it is hot chocolate flakes. So you actually melt the hot chocolate flakes into warm milk. So it's going to be one of them that's a real creamy, luxurious hot chocolate. So it's worth it. 
And then to go with the Christmas hot chocolate, I got these chocolate and orange cookies and cream biscuits. These look delightful. They look real chunky. And then I also got this milk chocolate bubbly Santa. These are only about 60p. And then they also had some in the Halloween section called Bubbly Boo. So I got one of them as well. And they also had loads of Halloween-y treats and yummy food bits. So I got some Colin the Caterpillar Spooky Edition. They've just changed his eyes out to be red. I also got these from the Colin the Caterpillar range. Ready to bake four cookies, cookie kit. So you've got the little cookie kit in there and you've also got four little Colin the Caterpillar faces that you can pop on. Wow, I really got all the yummy treats here. Had to pick this up. I've seen it online and on Instagram. So I had to try one. They do these cakes in a jar. They do have a few different flavors. I think this one will be my favorite. It's kind of like Victoria sponge. It's raspberry ripple cake. Look at the buttercream on that. You literally just delve in with a spoon. That's your dessert there. Basically a deconstructed cake. And considering it's British Bake Off season, next time it's on, I'm gonna be eating this with it. Why not? It always makes me hungry and crave yummy food, that show. Okay, so speaking of which, I also picked up these. Ah! If you're a fan of Caramac, like caramel chocolate, golden blonde chocolate bar, which can be used in baking, can be eaten on its own. Same with this. This is a golden blonde chocolate spread. So it's like a Nutella, but instead of hazelnut chocolate, it's made with the caramel chocolate. Wow. I did get a spice mix these are good for if you're doing like a diy gingerbread latte pumpkin spice latte to sprinkle some of this either within the drink as well or also just on top of the whipped cream and of course it's pumpkin spice seasoning so if you want to do a pumpkin pie or little pumpkin cheesecakes or a little pumpkin spice cupcakes whatever you want to do it's just a really handy seasoning for that i also got this which i thought would be uh, a good little sunday activity to do now that tom's cricket season is over we actually spend time with each other on the weekends and food is one of our favorite things to enjoy and indulge on on a sunday to go for a nice long dog walk whether it's raining or sunny get home get into your cozies and enjoy yummy food whether it's takeaway whether it's baked camembert whether it's a roast dinner and i thought this would be fun to do and it's like a diy bake your own focaccia or ciabatta bread mix which i love love focaccia all you need to add is water and olive oil it makes either one large focaccia or two ciabattas and speaking of indulgent food for having a sunday cheese board i picked up this chutney spiced apple and pear and then this for our roast dinner i picked up cranberry clementine and apple stuffing love in fact one of the favorite things for a roast dinner okay number one has to be yorkshire pudding always number two i really like stuffing also from the roast section within MS, i picked up these roast parsnip and roast potato seasoning in fact shout out to ruby holly yet again this is another purchase that i discovered from her christmas videos last year crispy roast potatoes this is the trick this is the trick and also par boiling your potatoes but this is so easy to use and i have never tried the parsnip one so i thought i would give that a go as well totally forgot to show this so i thought i would include it anyway because this was probably one of my favorite purchases and i can't believe i missed this when showing you guys all the bits that i got from mns but this burner and wax melt set contains four wax melts of each sense you've got the calm the balance the restore the sleep and tranquil yeah so four of each of those oh wow okay i thought it was just one of each that's amazing <laughs> that's music to my ears the reason why i got this is obviously i love a wax melt burner wax melt set so the fact that you get to try out all the scents and you get this beautiful ridged kind of uh flute design of a wax melt burner which as you guys know is a theme running throughout my house this is actually 25 pounds i believe so it's kind of pricey but um for the amount that you get four wax melts of each scent gives you a good tester for testing them all out and i do think that would make a beautiful gift set as well how nice is that packaging i'll definitely leave this one linked in the description box for you guys because like i said i think it's a great uh, makes for a great gift so that is everything that i picked up from m s loads of festive goodies i hope that you guys are feeling 
wholesome, festive and happy after watching this video. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day, whatever it is that you end up doing. And if it's a reading, don't forget to download the Readly app via the link, my exclusive link in the description box, which will get you two months free of charge. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.